Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can share your power apps with your target audience or end user using security group. Generally, if we have to share our power apps with our end user, what we do is we go to the power apps, go to the share options, and there we search for username. Let's suppose I have a user Sarah and I can provide them either a corner access or by default user permission is there and I can send an email notifications to them as well. Once you do that, there is a share option. As soon as you hit share, this app will be shared with user Sarah. And if there are any data source connected to this Power Apps, you will have to grant this particular user permission to this data source as well. And that will be a separate permissions that will not be granted from here automatically. So generally, this way, we provide user access in Power Apps, and then we go to data source, we provide user access in that data source as well. So in our case, it's a SharePoint site product list. So we'll have to add Sarah into SharePoint site as well. To avoid this, we can create a security group and then use that security group in both our Power Apps and SharePoint site and manage them from a centralized location. And that's a standard way of granting permissions into Power Apps. So let's just talk about how we can do that. If you are a global admin in your organizations or you have M365 admin center access, you can create a security groups from there. If you don't have access, you can go to your myaccount.microsoft.com. And once you go to your my group section, if you have access here to create a security group, you can create a security group from here by providing the name, description, and you can choose a policy. I have choose only the owner of this group and admin can add members. You can select anyone which you like. Okay, so once this is done, a security group will be created for you. I have already created a security group with the LT security groups and I have already around 15 members part of this group. And if I search the Sarah name here, you will see Sarah is already added in this security group. In case you want to add bulk user into the security group and remove bulk user, I've already created a video on that. You can watch that video in my channel as well. I'll provide link in description. And in case you want to add user in this group, you can search for user. So let's suppose I search for Sarah and can provide either member or owner permission because Sarah is already added as a member. So it's asking to add as an owner. So that way you can add user in security group. So once your security group is created, in my case, it's LT security group. What you have to do is you have to go to your power apps. Instead of individual username, I will search LT security group. And by default, this group has user access. If I want to make them corner, I can do that as well. You can send them email notification as well. I'll click on share and now this app has been shared with LT security group, another browser and refresh the app. You will see I'm logged in as an Sarah account, right? And uh, I have shared the power apps with Sarah and Sarah is able to access the power apps, but however, she's not able to access the data source. For that, what I will do is I'll go to my SharePoint site, site permission, advanced permission setting, that is LT dev members, go to new, search for my security group, that is LT security group, and share the permissions with the security group. And just to explain you what happening here is, I have created a security group, with this LT security group name and added all the users to whom I want to grant permissions to Power Apps in this group. After that, I have referenced this group in my Power Apps permission as well as my SharePoint site permission. So next time, if I have to add and remove users, I can directly manage it from my security group rather than going to my Power Apps share options and then going to my SharePoint site permission. So this way you can manage permissions directly through your security group. 
Now we'll check in our browser whether Sarah has received the appropriate permissions or not. It might take some time in case of security groups. So let's just wait for a few seconds. And now as you can see, I have logged in through Sarah account and Sarah is able to see both Power Apps as well as SharePoint data in my Power App. So this way you can manage your uh, Power Apps permissions through security group and if there are requirements like you have to provide custom rules in your Power Apps, in that case you can create a access metrics kind of list in your SharePoint site and then manage your permissions through there but the basic permissioning part will always be managed through the security group. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.